Today, we will be learning on how to determine whether a given point is on the circle. To determine whether the given point is inside, outside, or on the unit circle, we will use this equation. If x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, then the point lies on the unit circle. If it is greater than 1, then the point lies outside the unit circle. If it is lesser than 1, then the point lies inside the unit circle. Let's take this as an example. As we all know, negative 1 half is the y value. Using the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, substitute negative 1 half to x and square root of 3 over 2 to y. Recap, to multiply fractions, we have to multiply the numerator to the numerator and the denominator to the denominator. In this example, 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, and negative 2 is positive 4. Then we have our x, which is 1 fourth. Another quick recap, when multiplying the roots with the same numerical value, the answer is the numerical value itself. Just like in this example, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is equal to 3. Now, multiplying the denominator, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then we have our y, which is 3 fourths. Now let's add. Since they both have the same denominators, all we have to do is copy the denominator, then add the numerators. And there we have our answer. 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the point negative 1 half and square root of 3 over 2 lies on the unit circle. But what if one of the values are missing and you are given the point which is on the unit circle? Easy! But first, let's be guided with this plane. Let's have our first example. In this example, we are given the y value which is negative 3 over 5, while we are to x. We start by using the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. The value of y which is negative 3 over 5, so we simply substitute that to y squared. Our equation x squared plus negative 3 over 5 quantity squared equals 1. The next step is to transpose negative 3 over 5 quantity squared to the right side. Thus, the equation becomes x squared equals 1 minus negative 3 over 5 quantity squared. After we evaluate the equation, we end up with 4 over 5. Now, let's go back to the given since we know that the point is in quadrant 3. And the coordinates for quadrant 3 are negative x and negative y. Then, we know that our x, 4 over 5, is negative. Our final answer is x is equal to negative.